RV Tech Pro, what's up guys? A little late night video. I'm not really sleepy, but I gotta go to bed. I got AC install first thing in the morning. That's gonna be fun. Motor home in the field. But I've been pretty successfully using my uh, ladder crane and it's been working out great. So, no disaster stories yet. I'll be sure to let you know if they are. So, what you see here is some of the things that I picked up. A lot of gloves. These are my favorite gloves. I love them. They're nice. They protect you very well. You can use them on a touch screen. They're thin enough so that you can grip small objects. That's why they're thin. People say that they're thin as if that's a bad thing. If I wanted a thick pair of gloves, I would get leather or something, which are useless for me because I have to be able to handle small tools and small fasteners while wearing the gloves. That's the whole point. I've worked in gloves since I began my RV career and it's, I can handle the smallest of screws set screws whatever with these gloves on i size them to where they're tight and when they're tight they uh you you really can take advantage of that feature all right so i get the gloves to where they fit as you can see i just put that glove on by one hand i just kind of bit the uh, cardboard to get it on, and that's how I want them to fit. I don't want them to fit loose. They need to fit tight so that you can have more dexterity in handling small objects or screws. So, I bought this set, another set of uh, multimeter leads. These are very good, and I wanted to show you how I could pick up a needle in these gloves and handle it and do whatever I need to do with it. So imagine if that was a little, and then this is much thinner than a fastener that I would be using. So with these gloves, I'm able to handle very small objects with ease. And if they were not thin, you would not be able to do that. But they're not so thin that they don't offer protection. They offer great protection. I normally wear them out um, when I'm rocking hot and heavy. The work is good. Maybe a month. They last like a month. And then I've worn the fingertips out. The rest of the glove never wears out. It's just the fingertips because I get them, I wear them tight always handling stuff with them so the fingertips obviously first thing to go love these gloves they're awesome so we also have now full disclosure i thought these were milwaukee when i ordered them because i did a search query in amazon for milwaukee long bits and a lot of Milwaukee ones popped up on the query. And then when I saw these, I was like, oh man, it's just exactly what I want. And because of the color scheme and my query, I just assumed from the picture that those were Milwaukee. I couldn't, I couldn't read the, I couldn't see it like that, that they were pro tour. But I got them, um, came with this little clip which I'll be hanging it off one of my video bags. Kind of, I was kind of thinking about my railers and then uh, I saw that I was like, oh man, that's kind of the idea like behind the railers, but these are very long. So, and they come out by, uh, you uh, just flip them up and then you slide them out the top, okay. So I'll let you know how these bits are. Um, I have to warranty my Blue Point set because of the Phillips or 
not the whole set, but I have wore out the Phillips bit in my blue point set. And while I'm waiting for that to uh, come back from warranty, I said I was going to uh, get some replacement killers. So that's what these are gonna be. It came with the little magnetized doohickey. I don't really use that. Um, but I mean, I have used it. If I'm in a tight spot and the screw's dropping, I will use that. It does no good on the non-ferrous fasteners like, um, but non-ferrous fasteners. But if it's a, a normal fastener, it, you know, of course the magnet will work. So, like the stainless steel, mainly that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I don't know of many aluminum fasteners besides rivets, but yeah, the stainless steel, of course, it doesn't, it doesn't work with these. Um, so yeah, that's the Pro Tour. Comes in this box. Yeah, they're made in China. All the stuff's made in China. The Milwaukee bits are made in China. You know, a lot of stuff's made in China. The snap-on stuff made in the USA. The blue point stuff, it's a toss-up. Made in China, made in Taiwan. You know, it, 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 it's offshore. Um, so, the other thing I got was another set of these uh, multimeter probes because these probes uh, versus the, uh, the other probes that I have, these ones are very stout the focus right there and so they're replaceable so these go inside these are my back probes this is like a back probe kit right. so these are the back probes I've been using these for a while um, can probably go back in my videography history and see when I was working on like a um, an older like a 2010 um, motorhome, pretty nice one actually. And I was using this to uh, these type of back probes to diag a uh, infotainment system that was not working very well and. Uh, these are good. They're made by uh, Groupon. So I've had, I have and I have had in the past, and like I said, it's all stuff in China. It doesn't have the real name, but it's like Groupon is what it looks like, kind of like coupon with a G. Groupon makes these, you know, the, the silicone leads, and then you got the double bananas, which is nice. and then you have different attachments that you can put on the double bananas. And one of the ones that I use a lot are the back probes. Now my other kit that I bought came with like 45s and 90s that screw in and screw out. And uh, they're replaceable. You can just get the uh, little guys there. So I got some more of those. Um, I have to try to find the 90s and the 45s because those will come in very handy when I'm back probing uh, slim rack, um, some people call it power gear or your Schwintex, those type of uh, slide room motors, harnesses and whatnot. And it's very helpful into uh, moving the rooms using a uh, 12 volt battery. So that's what I got guys, uh, of course, just stocking back up on some supplies. This time I got the three little Legos. And I'll just keep it going. I have some other things that I hadn't shown yet, but you know, I probably won't get to it. It's already on the truck and in service. But this is what I got for now. It's not a long one. Catch you guys on the next one. RV Tech Pro out.